Well, Virgin Galactic can now take you to space after the FAA cleared them to transport non-astronauts, regular folks like you and me. We have Yahoo Finance's tech editor, Dan Howley, here with all of the details. And Dan, I know you want to be the first one on that flight to go to space. We've already talked about this. What else is no happening No way. Here? <laughs> <laughs> no way would I get on one of these rockets. I, you know, I get enough uh, freaked out enough getting on a plane. But uh, what what they're really doing here is the FAA is saying uh, essentially that people can be passengers on these flights. Now, uh, that doesn't mean that Virgin Galactic is going to do it today. Uh, they still want to do some tests. There's still going to be three rounds of tests that they're going to run through. A lot of it has to do with you know the cabin interior and things along those lines. Uh, but Richard Brownson could be one of the people that goes on these flights. And so he said that uh, in the first three flights, he wants to do it. Uh, so 2021, uh, he should be getting uh, into space at some point. Uh, really what this does though, uh, is it is proving uh, that Virgin Galactic does have the capabilities to bring people up there. Now, uh, what it will be is kind of uh, you know uh, an arc over the, the world and you'll technically be in space, but you're not gonna go as high as say the International Space Station or something like that. Uh, you're still gonna be relatively, relatively close to the Earth. Uh, but it still seems uh, completely terrifying to me because you'll be dropped off of a plane uh, and then the, the ship that you're in will then fire its rockets and take you up into the sky and then uh, into space. So uh, they will have uh, eventually some testing for uh, people like Italian astronauts uh, down the line. So obviously this is a, a big venture uh, for Virgin Galactic and this is a huge day for them. I'm with you, though, Dan. I, I am not getting in one of those. I would go kicking and screaming. I mean, it sounds exciting, but I, I just I can't do it. Um, tell me where the others stand, the other billionaires in the space race stand right now in getting normal folks into outer space. I'm talking Jeff Bezos here and Elon Musk. Yeah. So now there's kind of, you know, with Virgin Galactic being able to take uh, passengers up, not just, you know, test uh, uh, crew members. Uh, there's kind of this uh, rivalry. Uh, between Bezos uh, and Richard Branson, basically, uh, who is going to be the first billionaire in space on their own rocket? So uh, Jeff Bezos has said that he wants to do it in July. Uh, Branson originally was going to have it later, uh, but now there's murmurs that he may do it over the July 4th weekend just to beat Bezos into space. Uh, Elon Musk, by the way, uh, they are having their own private uh, offerings for uh, commercial space flight as well. Uh, that's going to be on their uh, Dragon capsules or their true uh, crew capsule, excuse me. Uh, and they'll uh, eventually be able to do that even more uh, as the technology improves. I just want to also point out that there is that petition for Jeff Bezos to stay in space forever uh, when he launches <laughs> on July, uh, whenever. So uh, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm surprised at you both. Dan, I figured you'd be the first one on one of those rocket ships. Alexis, you and I had a conversation, so you're willing to get on an ultra-fast flight to London in a couple of years, which seems dangerous, but not willing to get on a spaceship. But I am with the both of you. I also would not be willing to get on at all, not until space flight is commercialized and everyone has done it many, many times. All right, Dan Halley, thanks so much.